Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we'll be taking a look at chapter 5, letter C, and that's arithmetic sequences. We're going to take a closer look at where arithmetic sequences are and do at least one example together, just so you can get a kind of an under a clear understanding of how it works and what to do in the task when you see them. All right, so let's uh, let's first talk about the definitions. And essentially, this is the book definition, and it says that arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term differs, differs from the previous one by the same fixed number. It can also be referred to as arithmetic progression. So the key here is uh, a sequence where every term differs, I should use a different color, differs from the previous one by the same fixed number. So this is what we talked about. This is when you add the same number, for example, number three to every term to make the next term. So um, in algebraic terms, it's expressed as follows. And this is actually also from your book. And it says um, the arithmetic sequence with the first term known as U1 and the common difference being D, and that's the number plus three that I just wrote, uh, the expression can be written as follows. So the expression for, ooh, that's really, really big. I should use a slightly smaller brush. Uh, the expression can be written as UN where uh, this is the nth number, uh, and u1 equals to u1, which is the first term in the sequence, plus n minus 1, so that's um, the term you're looking for, n minus 1, multiplied by d, which is the difference, the common difference. So this number right here is the number by which previous numbers differ. So for example, in the sequence, one, three, five, seven. Uh, these numbers differ by, differ by two. So in this case, D equals two. U1 in this case, U1 in this case equals to one. So if we want to find the tenth number, if we want to find U10, we have to use this particular arithmetic sequence to express it as follows. It will be 1 plus 10 minus 1 multiplied by 2. And the answer to this is, uh, the answer to this is 19. And we can actually check that if we want. Uh, so here, here are the rest of the numbers, and this is the first number, second number, third number, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, uh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, and it's exactly what we just found. So it's sort of important to realize that uh, for all of the arithmetic sequences, you can be pretty much use this particular uh, formula to find any number. And it's it's sort of um, even though it's given to you on a test, it's sort of important to kind of remember it just for the future reference because sometimes you'll actually need this in real life as well. It's it's very easy to find any kind of a um, uh, number in, or in an arithmetic sequence using this particular function or this particular formula. And now let's just take a look at one of the examples from the book. This is an example from page 134, example 6. I'm going to put it right here. And let's try to do it together. So it's, um, it's about Ryan, who is a cartoonist, and he's making comic strips. Um, so he has to send them 28 comic strips he has drawn so far each week after the first he mails three more comic strips to the newspaper. Now you have to find the total number of comic strips sent after one, two, three, and four weeks. So how do we do this? So we already know that on week one he's already sent them 28 newspaper, uh, comic strips, 28 comics. So that's on week one. Week two will be plus three. So this will be um, 31 comics. Then for week three and for week four, we can pretty much do the same. So plus three plus three. So D here is three. And we find that this is going to be 34. And this is going to be 37. And that's really the answer for A. So A is done. We can check it out or check it off. Um, letter B, show that the total number of comic strips sent after n weeks forms an arithmetic sequence. And here this is basically an understanding question where essentially you have to understand that to make an arithmetic sequence you have to have this d or constant 
that will uh, allow us to increase the sequence. And in this case, D is three. So you can actually explain in words saying that um, for, um, well, you can, there's two ways of doing it. One is that you, you can actually write UN, uh, where U1 is, um, oh, sorry, U1 equals to U1 plus and minus one times D. And you can then show that it can, um, you can be found for week four, week three, and it will be the same number. But two is just explain in words that, um, there is a progression of, um, plus three comics for every week. In other words, that your, your D, your difference, um, is three. And this is known as common difference. So the common difference is three. So in this case, it automatically makes it uh, an arithmetic sequence because there's a common difference that is constant. And that's it for letter B. Letter C, find the number of comic strips sent after 15 weeks. Now, obviously you can do it this way by continuing this, or you can do it the smart way by just doing the formula. So for U15, you will have U1, which is 28 plus N minus one, which is 14 times three and so now you just have to calculate this and this will be 28 plus 42 which will equal to 70 so that's 70 comic strips and the last question is this is this is a, more, a little bit more tricky but it's basically you have to work backwards when does ryan send his 120th comic strip so here we um we know the un but we just don't know the n so we're looking for n and so the way we find this is by basically plugging in the numbers backwards so here what we're doing is we're writing 120 equals to 28 plus n minus one times three and we're looking for n, so we just have to solve for n. Now here you can obviously use your GGC if you wanted to and solve it using uh, poly SMLT or even um, Y1 function that we used before to solve for um, linear equations. But I'm just gonna do it manually and show you how to do this manually. So basically you can expand the brackets and this will be um, plus three n minus three 120 equals to 25 plus 3n. Um, 3n equals to 95. And n equals to 95 divided by 3. Which is 31 and 2 thirds. So what this means is that after about 31 weeks and 2 thirds, uh, he will have completed his 120th comic strip. And essentially, this is the answer to the problem. Uh, now, I did a little bit different from the book, but essentially, this is also correct answer. Um, in the book, they, they basically say 30 second week, they simple, or uh, they uh, round it off. But I would keep it as this because it's a little bit more accurate. Uh, 30 second week is a good answer as well. And essentially, that's it. This, this is how you deal with arithmetic sequences. So just remember to use this right here and try to memorize it even though you don't have to but try to memorize it so that you can usually uh, easily apply it uh, whenever you need to without wasting too much time all right so that's it thank you for watching next video will be about geometric sequences and good luck to you bye bye